In this video, I want to show you what you can do with cardboard and paint. It's pretty darn amazing. Okay, we're ready. We're going to take this thing to the store and see if it fits. Wish me luck. After my last video where I painted a cardboard dresser, I got inspired from one of the viewers who told me that she's made lots of cardboard furniture. That inspired me to look on YouTube, and what do you know? There's tutorials out there. I'll go ahead and link the one that really inspired me to do this. My husband and I have this small vintage store where we sell painted furniture, DIY paint, Iron Orchid designs, Wise Owl paint, and lots of fun original vintage finds. So this is the doorway in question. As you can see, there's a huge spot above it. The ceilings are about 10 feet tall and it's just this huge bare spot. It's been bothering me for a very long time. I've got to get this whole unit to move over in order for this to fit. I measured it for six inches on either side. As you can see, my store is closed. I'm there before we open. My husband's not there yet, so I am on my own. All right, this might work. I don't know about you guys, but this is the way I used to move my bedroom furniture around when I was a teenager. Prop myself against the wall and push my bed, my dresser. It works. this point I'm pretty excited that it fits I didn't measure it my husband sent me the measurements I built it at home so I was a little bit worried but I think it's all right not sure exactly what I have at home and I'm not sure exactly what I want to use so I'm going to go ahead and grab a few different colors off the display shelf being that I'm trying to make this pretty ornate it felt right to go ahead and put some IOD molds on it I have quite a few out it's quite a bit of space to cover if you're interested in more detailed videos on how to make these IOD molds, I'll go ahead and put a link right above to other videos that I've done. I really like the Gorilla Glue wood glue. As you can see, it's white and it dries clear and it dries pretty darn fast. Really could have made a ton more molds, but by this time, I was getting a little tired of this project. I've been working on just the cardboard part for two days. Boy, it's a lot of work. I had intentions to use this spackle to fill in all the corrugated areas. As it turns out, I just filled in a bit. Again, guys, I'm getting tired. You guys ever use salt wash? It's a pretty cool product. It's really good. You mix it in with your paint and it adds a ton of texture. You can make it really, really thick and it will be almost like stucco if you want it. I'm mixing mine a little bit thinner because I don't want it quite that thick, but it does the trick for texture really well. This weathered wood, it's like a brownie gray. It's a pretty cool color. 
All right, so I'm just gonna use this brush that has like a flat edge on it, and I'm gonna do a lot of pouncing. So when you pounce and you pull back up, that's how you're creating that really good texture. And that's what we're going for. This cardboard is super smooth. That's boring. Let's see if we can spice it up a bit. Now let's go ahead and hit some areas with some aviary. And I ran out of aviary, so let's go ahead and use some fancy farm girl. That looks like a hot mess. Let's uh, let's see if we can make it a little better. Huh? I let these dry overnight. My molds were still wet, and this is cardboard after all, so I didn't want it to collapse on me before I started my next layer. Now I'm going to do a tap, tap, tap motion with crinoline. I wanted some of my undercolors to come out so I didn't cover it all. I did it um, kind of like a dry brush, just not a lot of paint on there. Moving it around, but still trying to have that green and that weathered wood kind of showing out. Really see how much that salt wash um, does to give you some really good texture. Can you see it there? I think it's pretty cool. After that was all dry, I went back and wet a shop towel, wrung it out really well, and now I'm gonna do some wet distressing to bring out the little highlights, the high spaces in my molds and around some corners, make sure that that green and brown is coming through. All right, so we're gonna do some waxing now. I'm gonna do it a little bit different. I'm gonna barely, barely dip into my dark wax, and then I'm gonna dip straight into my clear wax. It's almost gone. I know I'm gonna use it all for this project, so I'm not worried about contaminating my two colored waxes. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it like that. Mix it up. Some spaces will have a little bit more dark than clear and vice versa, but that's okay. We're going for variations anyways. actually ended up running out of DIY's clear wax. So I had to pull out a can that a customer had gave me of a different paint line. I don't like to waste anything, so I would saved it. Man, I have to say that stuff is sticky and stinky, and I am just so thankful that I carry DIY. Oh, okay, so we've got a lot of crusty goodness going on. I'm a little worried about my colors because again, I'm not at the store. So let's head on back. The store is located in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We're on Manal Boulevard, close to Carlisle. Trying to show you guys our little bitty sign. Can you see it? We're right there at the bottom. Hey guys, let's see how it looks. And I'm just gonna staple that guy up there to the wall. It's not heavy. I think it'll be fine. All right, so I like it, but I don't think I like it on that wall. My gosh, should I do it again? Ah! I don't like it. Let's do it again. 
Let's go ahead and start with Bohemian Blue. Using a lot of paint on my brush, I'm really just kind of almost dry brushing, a little bit more than dry brush, but we're gonna go ahead and get that on there, but I do wanna leave some of that finish showing. All right, I'm gonna use old 57 and we're gonna kinda just like hit the high spots. Thing is, we already have so much texture on there. We already have the other colors that we have, so we have a lot to work with. So I think this is gonna work out a lot cooler than my first plan. Let's take our clear wax and our golden ticket and make some gold wax with it. All right, this is more what I wanted. I should have just went with color in the first place. Sometimes I never learn. I really wanted this piece to make an impact and I wanted you guys to see how cool it is and what you could do with cardboard. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments below. You guys are awesome. And remember, only you can make it happen.